Hey, EV Adventurers. This is Jim's EV Adventures. Welcome back to another episode of EV Bunk Blasters, where we torch tired tropes and gaslight the gas guzzlers. Today, we're drilling down, pun very intended, into that rally chant, drill, baby, drill. You know that rally chant, the one that's making a comeback with promises of cheaper cars and endless fossil fuels. But hold on to your charging cables, folks, because when it comes to total cost of ownership for your ride, this mantra isn't just outdated. It is dumb, baby dumb. We're talking hidden costs that could sink your wallet faster than a leaky oil tanker. Stick around, because I also drop a full list of EVs that you can snag for less than the average new car price right now as of December 2025. So let's blast this bunk together. First off, let's get real about what's fueling this frenzy. The current administration just rolled back the previous administration's EPA fuel economy standards, the CAFE standards, slashing the target from 50.4 miles per gallon by 2031 to a measly 34.5 miles per gallon. That sounds like a win for affordability, right? They claim it'll drop upfront car costs by about $930 by ditching all that fancy efficiency technology. But here's the bunk. Those savings evaporate at the pump. Sure, you're going to save $930 up front, and that's like trading a free appetizer for a $185 billion check at the end of the meal. Bon appetit, gas guzzlers. This rollback, it's projected to guzzle an extra 100 billion gallons of gas through 2050, slapping Americans, the consumers, with up to $185 billion in extra fuel costs. That's not drilling for savings, it's drilling a hole in your bank account. And I hear the oil companies actually need that $185 billion just to stay profitable. But what do I know? Just think this through for a minute. Looser standards mean thirstier cars. Your average Joe sedan that could have sipped fuel like a pro will now chug it like it's at an all-you-can-eat buffet. You may have saved $930 up front, but you'll spend much more than that over the life of the car in extra fuel. Your new car's motto is all you can eat of the owner's paycheck. Meanwhile, EVs are on a keto diet, lean, mean, and wallet friendly. And over the life of a car, say 150,000 miles, you're gonna be buying way, way more gasoline. And don't get me started about the unpredictability of gas prices. They might be dipping to around $2.95 a gallon this holiday season, but they've yo-yoed like a bad stock tip, spiking 20% in 2022 alone. Gas prices have more ups and downs than a reality TV romance. But EVs, they're as steady as your grandma's bingo winnings, predictable and always a win. And keep this in mind too, one tiny geopolitical hiccup one refinery snag or a storm in the Gulf, and boom, you're going to be paying $4.50 a gallon again. EVs, they're as predictable as your morning coffee. Home charging, about $0.18 cent per kilowatt hour national average, or roughly $0.05 cents a mile. No more budgeting for black swan events at the pump. Now, the real blast, the total cost of ownership for fuel. Forget sticker shock. EVs crush gas cars long-term, period. A gas guzzler might hit you for $32,000 up front, plus about $1,700 a year in fuel, and 10 cents a mile in maintenance. And over five years, or 75,000 miles, you're staring down $47,000 total. But swap to an EV like the Nissan LEAF. Starts at around $30,000. Sips just $700 a year in fuel costs and maintenance costs, or half that at six cents per mile. So the gas total cost of ownership, 
It's a pyramid scheme where the only winner is big oil. An EV is more like a savings account that actually pays interest in peace of mind. And boom, $38,000 total, saving you $1,800 in year one alone and up to $15,000 over 15 years. Studies back this. Every study that's ever been done, including those by the government, say that EVs will shave $6,000 to $15,000 off of lifetime costs, even without that $7,500 federal tax credit. Why? No oil changes, fewer breaks. And if you're a do-it-yourselfer, forget wrestling that oil filter like it's an alligator in the swamp. EVs, you'll change your Netflix queue more often than you change your tires. And don't forget, electricity is 60 to 70% cheaper per mile. Drill all you want, but EVs are the real, actual, factual money savers. And get this, EVs are not some luxury pipe dream. In December 2025, the average new car price is hovering right around $49,500. But you can score dozens of killer EVs for much less. Think EVs are for Elon fanboys only? <laughs> no, no, no. These rides prove you can go electric without selling a kidney or your vintage Beanie Baby collection. Here's the full rundown of new models that come under that mark. Again, there are actually more than a dozen EV models that are well under 49,500. That includes the Nissan Leaf, the Fiat 500e, the Hyundai Kona, the Kia Niro, the Hyundai Ioniq 6, the Hyundai Ioniq 5, the VW ID4, the Mustang Mach E, the Tesla Model 3, standard, the Subaru Solterra, the Chevy Equinox, and beginning January, you'll be able to pull up a Chevrolet Bolt for under $29,000. That's over a dozen options, all under $49,500. From city zappers to family haulers, there's an EV for every budget. And with home charging, your fuel bill drops to pocket change. Just today, I drove back and forth to work 100 miles for under $3.50. Can't do that in a gas car unless the price of gas dropped to a dollar a gallon and nobody told me. So there you have it. Drill baby drill might sound tough, but it's a TCO trap. More gas, more cash out the tailpipe, and prices that swing wilder than a pinata at your kid's party. Drill baby drill is more like spill baby spill. Your cash, that is. EVs are plug in, chill out, and watch the savings pinata burst candy for you. If you go EV, you save big, and you drive predictably for the next decade passing gas stations and never looking back. So what's your take? Are you ready to jump into the future, drive electric, and blast some bunk with me? If you are, drop a comment, smash that like button, and subscribe to the channel for more EV adventures. It really helps the channel grow. And I will see you out there, or somewhere along the route, from point A to point B. Take it easy, everybody, and happy holidays.